you know, going back to you, you said when you were you were uh, a kid, you're driving a haul truck at seven years old. Did that? Um, uh, <laughs> did you ever think about getting out of the, the industry, or, or yeah. is it just yeah. you loved it and you always wanted to be a part of it? You know, I I didn't always love it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Oh, no, that's a good. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> so I actually always loved mining, right? But as a young kid, my dad was very. You know, my dad's name is Britt Johnson, and he's a very driven man. Let's put it that way. And so his boys, uh, my my older brother and myself, uh, had some pretty high expectations installed on us. And so at a young age, um, he expected a lot of us. But the, the awesome part about that is it was in a time in mining, and it was a smaller mine site where we got a, you know, I sat on his lap, and I drove my first haul truck. I found my first gold nugget with them in Alaska, um, mining at a small family operation up there. And then, you know, Throughout the years, we've had experiences on sites that most kids and most people have never had that experience. And what that did is it, ex- it definitely exposed me to some some people and allowed me to start building relationships and friendships with people in the industry at a young age. Uh, and so I'd say that uh, I I owe a lot of it to him and his, him exposing us to this and in the mining segment, which I always loved. The, the part I didn't like, to be honest with you, was the tire segment. And that was largely in part because at the ripe age of 13, I got told I had to work every summer while my friends got to play <laughs> in the tire shop. And so uh, it took me a little bit to understand tires and the importance of it. Um, but that was the, another unique experience. People ask me, you know, I get asked often where where I came from or how, how it is I'm, I'm at today. And the truth of it is, is I've, I've, my biggest deal is I, I've, I've the opportunity to learn from some of the, the smartest people in the industry for a very long period of time. Uh, and I formed friendships and, and bonds with them at a young age that kind of helped me throughout my life and gave me a head start uh, to where I'm at today. And then obviously I love the mechanical side of a tire and that's where most people miss in the tire industry is that, that a tire is very much a mechanical object and they just don't realize it. So that's that's kind of how we're, where we're at, so. Yeah, it's, um, you know, do you, you know, and I, I, won't, I won't get too, too personal on you, um, but do you, do you still carry though some of that? You know, like I I come to a little bit different. I come from the mining equipment world. Um, yeah. So I was out there with a wire brush cleaning it off, and you know the same same sort of thing. You know, you know a driven father and, and that sort of thing. But it's sort of this is my theory on it. It's sort of even though they don't get it perfect, and I, I my father certainly wouldn't say that he did, and your, yours wouldn't. But they were they were doing something. They were they were trying and. And they sort of raise that bar. So even as you go into your your career, you know there's this work ethic that you need to bring, or that you can bring, because you you you've seen someone yeah. else do it. Do you sort of do you still find that that there is a, a driving force behind you because of, of being around that environment of that work ethic? Yeah, I mean, my yeah, it's just it's ingrained in us, right? It's something I'm instilling in my kids. Uh, you know, put your nose to the grindstone, and learn as much as you can. Uh, retain the knowledge and pay attention in life and i always tell my kids to be a leech right like when you meet someone extremely intelligent and, and passionate about something you're interested in learn from them pay attention yeah. to them, befriend them uh and and they can help you get to where you're at so i yeah you know when i was younger when i was 13 or 14 years old like any kid i just wanted to go out and goof off but yeah. nowadays like i'm thankful i'm very thankful for all the people that have impacted my life and i can it take me a day and a half to to lift those people out, but I, I've been very fortunate from mine managers to mining engineers to maintenance managers, guys that I, I worked with for 15 years on different positions and, and also watched them move up through those careers. But we continued that bond of relationship, being able to openly talk to one another and, and do that stuff. So I, I am very thankful for that that experience in my life. Is it, it, It's the catalyst to where I am today. Let's put it that way. So your kids at 13 won't be uh, just goofing off all summer either. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, it's harder now, right? So my kids are actually past 13. Uh, it's not as easy for them to get a job. It, it's, yeah, you can't Yeah, you can't be like, hey, go work in this tire shop. The tire shop like, no. no, we're not allowing that. <laughs> no, well, I'm the, like, you know, I laugh and I say this, and I, I, you know, there's a statute of limitations down here because I think we would get in trouble for this. But I was 13 and my brother was 15 and we had to drive 112 miles a day. Yeah. The legal driving age is 16 in the state of Nevada. So <laughs> <laughs> let's just say I drove one way and my brother drove the other way. So, uh, you know, we did that our entire life. We drove from uh, a little town called Round Mountain, Nevada, to Tonopah, Nevada, and we worked at my family business, which was the Indy Tire. 
yeah. I'm still very proud of that name because that name that name in the industry changed a lot about it and how they track tires and, and the type of training we gave and, and really where we're at today. That, that, that company was a, a front runner really led by my father.